there's plenty of sandy shenanigans throughout August as the beach returns to the Lumbridge Crater area. It's a great way to level up your skills in completely different ways to normal, all with a tropical twist. Take on the lobster-like boss monster Claudia, try a hand at the coconut shy, or treasure hunts, sandcastle building, battleships, rock pools, beach ball rolling, hook a duck, weightlifting, or barbecues, with handy portals to your favorite distractions and a brand new Terra Bird racing course. And if all that sounds far too hectic, it's also a great place to relax under a palm tree with a cocktail. As well as lots of existing beach-based belongings, plenty of new unique rewards have been added this year, like the new hammock rest animation or the sand castle companion pet. Part two of our new look achievement system also hits the game this month, bringing some new features and interface improvements based on your continued suggestions. We've got a player inspect feature where you can see other players' achievements and measure yourself against them in side-by-side -side comparisons, even comparing the new achievement score we've added, granting different points for every achievement that you've earned based on its difficulty. We've also added a bunch of new ones too about random fun stuff, mini games, and several relating to PVM encounters. A new type of hunter foe has appeared north of the Tyrus camp, and it's the elusive Crystal Skill Chomper. Just like the other Skill Chompers, it's a wieldable critter that massively increases your efficiency and XP training at those top levels for divination, fishing, mining, and woodcutting. You'll need a whopping level 90 hunter to try and catch them, but they function just like crystal tools and offer a fantastic rate of hunter XP when you do. We've also added a new bonus to all skill chomper hunting, where high levels of agility now allow multiple skill chompers to be caught in the same trap. There's plenty of other things going live in August too, like improved ways of earning skilling outfits in-game and timed high scores, as the Ninja team double in size and take on your most wanted improvements. Live streams will be busy too, as we talk at length about our unfinished business, and, as promised, in a team dev blog that's out now. Finally, I thought I'd let you know about some planned changes to some of the ways you pay for RuneScape. The new payment page on the website is being updated to be a better, slicker system, allowing you to spend less time paying and more time playing. So don't be freaked out if you see some changes. Have fun in the sun. Walters out.